Hi guys, it's Joy, and I have a couple of kind of crazy videos for you today. Came out of left field, but not that I'm happy they happened, but I'm happy to talk about it. I'm happy to kind of change gears from some of the subjects I've been on. And today we're going to talk about Trisha Paytas and Jeffree Star. Now, you guys probably know by watching me, I don't really make a lot of Jeffree content. I think there's one video where I talked about why is he the one who's not really canceled as much and people are more lenient with his behavior than Shane? And I kind of went into that, you know, kind of how I see that. Check that video out if you want. I'll have links in the description. I might have them in the cards. Um, and they also bring up Shane in this. But what's happened is Trisha Paytas and Jeffree Star are having an issue. I don't know much about Jeffree Star. What I do know, I don't really like. So I don't dive in too much to his lore or what he does. I just know he's somebody that consistently makes controversy. He will do mean things to people. And uh, he's got a very sordid past, a lot of predators surrounding him. He is not a very good person from what I can tell. Now, apparently in working with Shane, he was trying to showcase that he's trying to be a better person. What that is or isn't remains to be seen. But where this all starts from is that Trisha Paytas went on a trip with Jeffree Star and one of Jeffree Star's uh, hair or wig people. Um, and this is going to get real weird. I'm going to try to explain it the best I can. A lot of this is going to get real expensive with wigs. I've never worn a wig. I probably should because of all these hair issues I've been having lately from my own health issues, but I won't. I'm too lazy, honestly. But uh, here's, here's kind of the rundown. So they went on a trip. And I guess in the trip, you know, Jeffrey ended up getting a private plane. And I guess they went from where they're at in LA to Vegas. And they went to see Mariah Carey. And Trisha, from her perspective, says they were mean to her, made fun of her the whole time. I think they said something about like throwing a, one of her very expensive bags in the trash. They made fun of her hair, her skin, called her poor. They would ditch her all the time. They weren't very nice to her, but then would kind of be complaining that she wasn't in a better mood. And, you know, when Trisha spoke up about this, with Trisha, it's kind of like, okay, is she exaggerating? Is she making drama? Because, you know, sometimes with Trisha, you get somebody super, super real. And then sometimes you get somebody who's kind of stirring up controversy. Sometimes it's a mix of both, to be fair. And I'm not, this is not a put down to Trisha. I'm just telling you what I analyze when I see. And uh, here's what's happened. So... Trisha came out with this story and the hairstylist that was there that worked with both her and Jeffrey finally spoke. Not only did he speak, because if you saw the title of this video, you know where this is going to go. Not only did he speak, he insulted her up one side and down another. Said they never talked about her. Admitted to then talking horribly about her and being mean to her and that they're still being mean to her and she should shut up and not say anything because they paid for everything even though Trisha was offering. He puts her down for being poor because she asked for the price of a Valencia or a Valencia, I'm not sure if it's B or V, some type of very expensive bag. On top of that, he starts to threaten her, call her, harass her, show up at her house. It gets scary. He even admits, I am crazy. I am not the one to mess with. I am crazy. So I'm gonna show you what this is. By the way, and what I'm gonna show you I show you one of the phone calls. He's on stream. He made like five phone calls to her on stream while saying all these horrible things. Now, apparently his beef, his beef, who am I? Apparently his, is his issues with Trisha are that um, Trisha said that he overcharged her for wigs and didn't do touch-ups. You know, real life altering stuff. And he decides to go on a rampage. I've edited this out as much as I can. There's going to be a lot of holes in this. I apologize, audio holes, because I'm editing out so much cursing. What I'm showing you is just a sample of what was there. So just be aware, you know, I guess, warning for people who might be kind of sensitive. This guy is mean. And this is very, I wouldn't be doing a video if he was just mean, but it gets to the point where he gets very dangerous. So Let's take a look and let's see what his uh, really well thought out, intelligent response is. The first time I ever met Trisha, she reached out to me to do her video, Iconic. I did three wigs. She uh, met me because I do Jeffree Star's hair. Let me tell you how these delusional, stupid, but one thing about me, I, keep, I literally even have my, um, what's that phone that used to flip like that? The, oh, the, 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 the psychic. Because I keep every single 
text message and it's so it gets me so mad you know why because i'm at, i was actually nice to the stupid fat walrus looking you get me i didn't talk about her but now i am now i am <sighs> she reached out for the iconic video i was psyched because i was like oh my god trisha she's so pretty she's the blonde the blonde queen that gets da -da 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 I did her music video. I did three weeks. I made it on time. She only gave me like a couple of weeks, which was dope because she let me know ahead of time. Normally clients don't do that. All right, cool. On the video, let's go back to the video. I'm sorry. Not you, but. That one just hurt a lot. Stuff like that, but. In a second. No. I just didn't have me a couple days like this is why i asked you like a week prior i think like a week and a half prior 10 days prior how much it was going to cost because i don't want to be that person that doesn't have the money for you when it's time to pay and in my head i budgeted what he charged me before for two weeks and it was so much more money for two weeks she said that look, my head, I look look at this stupid dumb she, he said she said she's saying i'm gonna play it again the stupid, dumb, worris looking bitch. Maybe she should go on a diet and get lipo on her brain because maybe all that fat is up her brain from thinking. You know what these are? And I know, normally don't like to speak up on nobody. Mm -hmm. They're f lucky that Jeffrey is actually a nice person. Take, uh, They're taking advantage yeah. that Jeffrey is not about airing people out anymore. Okay. Oh, that he he's not about airing people out yeah, anymore. He could. He's lucky he's a nice person. How are you gonna talk about a person after you got in a private jet that was paid for? You didn't spend a dime. Okay. Your room was paid for. He paid for the concert to go see Mariah Carey front row. I sat next to you. Paid for the food for the restaurant. And you're right. You were such a boring time. You were such a boring time. You were so negative. I remember he even checked her like, yo, what is wrong with you, girl? We're trying to make you feel better. Because she was like, um, we were like, hey, we have to leave by 9 o'clock. It's 7 o'clock. Like, I'll put Trisha's wig first and then I'll put Trisha's Oh, no, no, no. If we don't have time for mine, I literally will go out like this. I don't care. Like, you know, I'm good. I'm, I'm perfectly fine. Like, da, da, da. She had a ball cap on. You know what's, so, what's the problem? What? It's people get upset. When they have something good and then they do something stupid. You get me? Mm -hmm. Imagine having that person in your life and then that person is not in your life. Yeah. Because you were so stupid. You were so out of it. Out of it. She wore a boring time. She sat down through the whole concert. She sat down because her feet, supposedly her feet. First of all, she didn't know Mariah Carey is because the only person she knows is Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera. She, she sat down through the whole concert because her feet because uh, she couldn't stand. You get me? Maybe sat behind my back with my skin my weight, whatever. It was the overall feeling that I got when I was there. We talked about your skin, but your skin looks like so this day a whole year later what you forget to read and then i'm literally telling her how i'm giving her a 500 hundred dollar discount because i got there an hour late oh thank you so much you're so wonderful wait hold on because let me put something in my mouth Mind because you. no hold on, hold on let me put something in my mouth because um because i need to read it how she will probably say it and normally she says things which with food all the time because the stays eating she stays eating good thing there's she lives in california where there's endless amounts of food because if she lived in every uh, in any other uh country where there's poverty what is it poverty where people are starving this wouldn't leave no food left for the not even for the animals okay. not even for the vulture she'll eat them so listen she says oh thank you so much <laughs> i'm lucky to even have you there i don't have make you so your mama is all excited no 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 stupid i kid you not if they called her right now, if Jeffrey called her right now, or we called her right now, hey, come hang out with us tomorrow, she'll come. Dang, what a freak. That's 
fake. Calling her. Huh? Your call has been. Okay. How do you do like that? Like, why do people do that? Like, do you not know that I'm crazy? Yeah. I actually, I'm actually a nice person. But do you not know that I'm crazy? Why would you fuck with the wrong one? You could have messed with the makeup artist. He's nice. Compared to me. I would destroy you. By the time I'm done with you, you're going to look anorexic. Now, Trisha responded to this by actually doing her own live stream. And she was crying and shaking. And we know Trisha will, you know, cry and get dramatic sometimes. And, you know, it sometimes has a hard time dealing with her feelings. Um... And that's not to put her down. I, that is not a put down. She can be a very emotional person and that's fine, right? A lot of people can be. Um, and she's got issues she's open with and working on more power to her. But this is somebody who's got some mental health issues who basically is just getting threatened and she went live about it because she was scared. Apparently this guy started showing up at her house, circling her home. Um, he doxxed her. He put out company information that nobody else is supposed to know. Um, he was taking photos of her vehicle, doing some real scary, scary, scary stuff. And she had every right to be terrified. I think I'm gonna do a follow-up video with this. She also said she didn't wanna speak out or say too much because as we know, no matter what's happened, Shane Dawson says he stands by Jeffree Star and that's his friend. And Trisha basically said, I didn't want to start anything. I didn't want to lose my friendship with Shane and, you know, talk about all this. She's like, you know, I, I didn't want to start drama there. She's like, but I'm upset and I'm angry because Shane has known what's going on. And, you know, Rylan had Jeffrey on his podcast recently to talk about the whole thing where apparently he and Kanye are hooking up, even though it's a lie. But Jeffrey ended up running with it and getting attention out of it, as somebody like Jeffrey does, as most YouTubers would. Let's, you know, be blunt and be honest about it. That's how all these people are, just all about attention and nickels. Trisha goes on the H3 podcast. I found this out through the H3 podcast. I was there for D'Angelo Wallace. Wow. And then all of this started exploding. So she came on to talk a little bit more about what's going on. And then Ethan and Hila gave their perspective. And I want to say mad props to Ethan and Hila. They were so super supportive of her. You know, I know they all have issues and stuff, but at the end of the day, it's so nice to see like a group of people who like, gen even if they have issues, they genuinely care about one another, you know, and they both really had her back and you know, they, and then Trisha kind of explains more into detail. So let's take a look. Explain. Trisha, wait, Trisha paid us? <laughs> can you hear me or no? Yeah, we can hear you. Yes. Did you see us going after that bag? Yeah, I didn't want to watch the live because the D'Angelo thing, but then I saw the part where you guys were being nice and then I was like, okay, let me go on here real quick. <laughs> oh my God, this yeah, that guy. guy such a... Oh, well, like he was here at my house yesterday. My security guard, I showed the text messages on my TikTok. My security guard, I showed him the video because at the end of the video, the guy's like, I'm going to you up. You're going to be anorexic by the time I'm done with you. The only person at your funeral is going to be your mom. He said like, that too. All this crazy yeah, on the video, on, the, on his Instagram live, the previous one. And so I made a video because I was like, oh my God, what do I do? So I sent the video to my security guard and he's like, oh, that guy was here today. He was taking pictures of your car. He was with another guy in a black Dodger. They circled around, they circled around. Wow. Um, yeah. And so I called the security company today. I got another security guard over here. And then our, our sensors were going off at night last night, like front driveway, front driveway. And the one security guard we had kept sleeping. So we got like two now at night. And it was like this whole thing. I, I didn't know he said such awful things. I watched his full live. It was like 35 minutes. And it was him just telling me that I'm like this fat piece of shit that he's gonna he's gonna I'm gonna get what's coming to me like that I like he's like by the time I'm done like by the time he's gonna me up that I'm gonna look like I'm in, you know anorexic I'm gonna be in a funeral like all this crazy shit. and he's like crazy this guy does my wigs for a long time and he like would tell me he would show me like fights he goes in of like beating people like beating people to death he'd always be like yeah I killed that like all that he's crazy and it's like scares me so that's why I went on TikTok because I was like I don't know what to do like I don't like like the cops can't do anything unless he shows up and my neighbor's a cop which is good but like until he like comes back like he really can't do anything other than he had the threat so they can like they can 
they can, I guess, arrest him, I guess, if there's already threats against me. But well, he know. wasn't that tough. People sent him a few clown emojis and he made his whole Instagram private. <laughs> I, I haven't even seen all that. I was like, I just, I was like catching my breath. I don't know, but he is, he's like scary. Like he's like, like he's, he's like, actually well, I can tell he has person. anger problems because he yeah. like snapped on you so fast. And by the way, when he was like, when he was trying to justify his behavior, all he said was that you said that he overcharged you. Right, right. I, I had said that in a recent video that, that he did and he overcharged me, whatever. And How I, much just said, I never you? said his name, nothing. Four thousand dollars, and it normally for would be three thousand dollars. Four thousand yeah. dollars for what? <laughs> Which I paid for, by the way, for wig, two wigs. What? Wow. That's how much it cost? <laughs> I mean, I guess, bro. <laughs> It doesn't usually cost that much. Yeah, I don't know. That seems like a you, lot. Oh my god. To give you context, like it was on a trip I went on with Jeffree Star last Valentine's Day, and they were they basically told me they basically made fun of me while I was on the trip. Basically, he, said he admitted my skin that. Is yeah, like he said it, and and Jeffrey too, and I was trying to be cool with Jeffrey because Shane and Ryland stuck up for Jeffrey, and I just was like, all right, I'm gonna be cool. I'm not gonna be that mean or whatever. I'm not gonna come for Jeffrey and expose him. But I finally just kind of like let it down a little bit. I'm like, he's not a nice person, whatever. And then I said the thing about Jay overcharging me, and like he did. He said they made fun of my skin. They said that I was boring. That they wanted me to go yeah, home. He yeah, he admits all I, that. I, I offered to pay. I offered to pay for the. I offered to pay towards the private jet. I offered to pay my hotel room. I offered to pay every single thing. Like they never took me to dinner. He's like, oh, Jeffrey paid for all your meals. Never. They always ditched me before dinner. Like they well, were. Who cares what he paid for? Huh? Who cares what he paid for? His whole thing was like, oh, we paid for yeah. all this, so you have to endure it and whatever we say and do to you. It's like what? It it was the worst trip of my life, and I came home, and I told Shane, and I told my sister, I told my mom, everyone who knew I came home, I came home early. They were awful. They basically, like, smacked food out of my hand, told me I shouldn't be eating, told me I was poor because I asked the price of a Balenciaga bag. Like, oh, my God, you have to ask the price of how much that is before you buy it. Like, you're so poor. Like, that's By the way, that guy's a hairdresser. Like, what the fuck is he to talk about asking prices? Oh, my God. <laughs> I, know, I know. It was... And he said that, too. He's like, she, she rents that house she lives in. She doesn't own it. And that's something Jeffrey says. Like, that's that's their petty that they say. And I was like. It's just so crazy to me. It's so insane. And like, I'm just so sick of people like getting away with that stuff, especially Jeffrey. Like Ryland just had Jeffrey on his podcast and it pissed me the because Jeffrey is the worst person. And these are the, and it shows by that guy's video. Like I am a crazy person. I like, I have drama with people, but I never like go for people's like, look, smells. I'm going to say they're dead. Like all this stuff, especially Jeffrey and that guy. I, could, there's so many low blows I could take and I don't because it's like, what is, is wrong with people? So wait, I have never heard of people acting like that. The, it was all low so blow. Evil. Never. Yeah, it was all it was evil. <laughs> so wait, what's wrong? Yeah. Okay. AB said you made a video about Shane, a TikTok about Shane. Uh, no, someone just said like, um, what, why, like, uh, I don't even know what the TikTok was. Something along the lines of like, why does Shane still support him or something? Uh -huh. I'll, I'll tell you right now. It says. Is your best friend Shane gonna stick up for you? And then this is, and it just it just kind of did trigger me because they had him on Shane on Ryland's podcast like just a week ago talking about the Kanye West thing, and I'm like, this person's like he's a person to me, and anyone who's been to them, I just disregard. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. he's an actual awful person. They knew the week it happened how awful it was, and I was just I was just I'm just done. I'm just done. I was protecting Jeffrey because he was friends with Shane, but I'm just so done with it all, and that's why I was just like. I don't know. It just was like a lot. And I'm just, I'm just really heated at the moment because all this is happening and the people showed up to my house, not once, but twice and like threatening me and all this crazy. And it's just like a lot. It's just like a lot because why? Because I said like, I like, and he was, he like harassed me before the trip. I asked him how much are the wigs? How much of the wigs? He's like, Jeffrey's got you. Jeffrey's got you. Don't worry about it. And then like the day I come home early and don't come home with them. He's like, Oh, you owe me $4,000 for the wigs. And I'm like, that's fine. It was a Sunday. I'm like, I have to transfer money and all this crazy. And then I paid him. It wasn't an issue. I paid him. I didn't even say that you overcharged me. I just paid him. And then I was like, it just left a bad taste in my mouth. I talked about it briefly in, an, in a mukbang or whatever. I didn't even say his name. I was just like, this is this is what happened. And they, they were awful. They're the worst people. And that video proved it. And I was like, this is the kind of It actually video. does it prove it. it. It's, really a, it's interesting yeah. because it, would, it was just like your word. And But like in that video, he literally admits to him and Shane <laughs> calling you fat. Making fun of your Not skin, Shane. saying you were born. Jeffrey. What did I say? Jeffrey. Yeah. Oh, Jeff. What did I say? Shane. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I mean, Jeffrey and his little homie making fun of your skin, calling you fat. He was saying you were boring. It's like, what kind of comment is that you're not there to entertain because i didn't want to go out to the club with them but when they were out of the club there's a guy that was with us on the trip that wasn't on jeffrey's payroll that made a video but took it down and he said he had video footage of them at a club that i didn't go to and the whole night that they're supposed to be out like partying having fun they're just talking about how disgusting i am and how greasy my skin is and how my hair is fried i 100 like, believe that after watching That's that crazy. video
There's a video. There's a the guy took it down, but I'm sure someone re-uploaded it. The guy that was with us on the trip, I forget his name, but he was just a friend, and he's like, they just kept saying how poor Trisha was and disgusting. How and I was poor? Like, crazy. How yeah. poor? What kind of? F That's not a criticism. <laughs> it just, it just is Bruh. so. Yeah. Well, I don't like Jeffrey. The chat is all saying how beautiful you are, Trisha. People are saying the chat is <laughs> writing for you. It. Uh, and I've just been having so many issues. And on the first video, he's just mocking like that I'm and stuff like that. It's just like all this crazy. Now, what's the conclusion? The conclusion is that during his podcast, this guy on his Instagram, Hair by Jay, I think his name is, goes live again. And I guess because they were hitting so hard at him, on the podcast, everybody was just leaving clown emojis. So he tried to go on and explain himself and justify everything. And I'm gonna, I'm sorry guys, I couldn't get a copy of this because he went ahead and privated his account because he was so triggered by people making fun of him for how he was acting and threatening her. And basically what he said was, you guys are saying that I should apologize. And he kept going over the thing about the wigs. I didn't overcharge, like who cares, right? Doesn't really matter in the long run after all the horrible things he said about her. And again, I didn't even put all of it in there, guys. But then he says, I'm not gonna apologize because you should say sorry when you don't know that what you're doing is wrong. Everything I said, I'm, and I'm paraphrasing here, okay? What I said I meant to say because she was getting at me, so I was just trying to make her upset. That's, that's not a justification. Like, and that's what they were trying to do. So Ethan and Hila were pointing out and saying, dude, you should apologize to her because what you did and your behavior, that was horrible, that was mean. Well, no, you should only apologize if you don't know what you're doing. I knew what I was doing. Well, that just makes it 10 times worse and makes you a worse person. Trisha also says that, and I, I think this is an interesting point too. Trisha says that she knows he's kind of got a ticky problem in his brain and he admits that he's crazy and that he would all the time be like, look at this person, I beat this person up or I, you know, took this person off the planet, this, that, and the other. You know, like honorable people talk about. And in going over all of this, you know, I have a couple thoughts. First of all, I hope Trisha is safe. I hope this guy got so many clown emojis and he's so triggered by it. He just leaves her alone because that is incredibly scary. My first thought is to Trisha and you know, Trisha, and I think she's in her late twenties, right? And my, and when I say that, what I mean is she's still a little bit young and figuring herself out and figuring people out. Look, in my late twenties, I was still really naive to people many times. I was getting better with it, right? And I think oh, as time goes on with age, we get better with it, right? Uh, some people it takes longer and that's okay. And a part of me is like, you know, Trisha, if you knew that he was this way, why would you interact with him too much, right? But I'm also not blaming Trisha because this is one of Jeffrey's people. And we have all kind of accepted <clears throat> to some extent and degree, a lot of Jeffrey's behaviors. And even if you see some warning signs, Sometimes you don't always know. Like she could have heard that stuff and thought he was joking. It was kind of a joke. He was kidding. Like she might not have fully known. It just makes me sad that, you know, because on the one hand you could look at it and say, well, Trisha seems to attract some kind of weird people in her life. On the other hand, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that though. I wouldn't say that. I don't think that it's, you know, Trisha continually getting predators in her life because she's done something wrong. I would say welcome to the world of YouTube and entertainment where it's just full of predatory people. It's full of really creepy, mean, crazy people. And I think that is part of sometimes, not every time, but sometimes what happens with Trisha, a lot of users, a lot of takers, a lot of predatory people. Like this guy and Jeffree Star, they basically invited her on a trip to make fun of her the whole time. And then they made fun of her when she wasn't happy about it. That's psycho. That's psychotic. That's a, that's a level of evil that I don't, I can't even sit here and put into words for y'all. This is so mean to do to somebody. And then for Trisha, and I'm gonna believe her at this point because of everything that's happened, she says, hey, you overcharged me. And then he just goes in a tirade of doing everything he can, not just to make fun of her, to call her obsessively, show up at her house, take photos of her vehicle and stalk her. Like, this is nuts. And this is like one of Jeffrey's friends. And I'm sure Jeffrey will get away with it. I'm sure they'll stay friends. We'll see them doing other things in the future. Here's my second point, my big point. Why is it, and you guys know I like Shane and I've defended Shane a lot, but I'm also gonna be honest. Shane needs to weed out some of these toxic people. 
Like, he can't be a good friend to Trisha while standing by what Jeffrey and company are doing to her. And I think she has every right to speak up and say something. It seems like sometimes, this is my assessment, I could be wrong. Shane is a big boy, right? But sometimes I think he surrounds himself with the wrong people that get him into crap. Oh, I don't know, like Katie Morton. Do you know what I'm saying? And I don't fully blame her for everything. And I'm not saying Shane is a blameless person with things. But Shane cannot be a good friend to Trisha when he continues to stay friends with somebody who treats her friend that way. Because in a way, he's condoning the behavior. You are, on some level, choosing one behavior over the other. I really wish, I think Shane is trying to make changes and be a better person, but I also think if he's really going to do that, he has to really take a real honest look at the toxicity in his life, how it could be affecting him and the people around him, and cut it out. Just cut it out. On the flip side, this could be a situation where Jeffrey has a lot of stuff on Shane. Shane knows that. So Shane has to stay quiet. I don't know. I don't know. I think Shane tries to sometimes play the middle of the road and try to figure out what's right. But at the end of the day, your friend is getting threatened on behalf of Jeffrey. I just wanted to point that out. And again, I think I'm going to look more into this because she did a video about Shane. Um, I love Shane, but I'm also going to call out how I see it. Like, they know this has been going on. Why would you continue to bring this person around? You know? And I get it, you know? <clears throat> I can understand that they're friends. He and Jeffrey are friends. I can understand that he's like, well, Jeffrey's trying to change, and I'm trying to change, so why would I kick somebody when they're down when people are doing that to me? But Trisha's safety is being compromised. If anybody is a real friend to Trisha, if I, and I'm not even Trisha, if this happens to you guys when your safety is compromised and your friends stand by the person who are doing it, and they don't ostracize that person or hold them in accountability and check, get those friends out. They were never your friends. Or they've just decided that your safety isn't as concerning. You don't need those people. I hope that's not shame, but I'm not going to let things blind me. You know, my I'm very appreciative of Shane and what he's done for me and how kind he's been to me, but I'm also not going to let that blind me to the situation how did like just how disgusting put first of all like putting down that she's poor she's not at all poor like i don't care how much money i get and y'all know i had a month where i made seventy six thousand dollars on youtube on my company channel like i have made I, and i told you guys i've made i've had times where i've made lots of money if i you know god willing not saying it's going to happen i don't expect it but if i were ever to get to that level of success again where i'm making hundred thousand two hundred thousand three hundred thousand a month I'm still going to be looking at prices on things because that's what you do when you're smart at business. When you're smart at business, you count all your coins. Sorry, Trish is just smarter than you. <laughs> like, that's how I look at it with this. I'm just like, Trish is being smarter than you. And furthermore, he's a hairstylist. Come on. So you think you're really doing much better than Trisha. And I'm sure because he's like, Jeffrey pays for everything. Well, I think Jeffrey pays for everything for him, but not for Trisha, even though Trisha says she's offered at this point. I'm going to go with Trisha because of all the awful behaviors. So yeah, it's just a real fun crap show. And I really hope Trisha is okay. You have my love girl. Not that she needs it or wants it, but she got my love. And I hope that you're okay and that you're safe and you're going to stay that way. And Shane, Shane, evaluate the people, babe. Some of the people around you can be your downfall. It's happened to me so many times. You really want to be that better person, start looking at the toxicity and finding ways to cut it out, even if it's a consequence to you. Like at this point, even if there was a consequence to him, you've already paid how much of a consequence. Get him out. That's what I would say. Okay, guys, if you like this video, please help me out and give me a big thumbs up, like the video. Subscribe and hit that notification button if you're new and you like the videos so you can see when I upload. Sound off in the comments. Do you think I'm right? Is there something that I'm leaving? I'm sure I'm leaving out a little bit of information, right? And I couldn't get that stream, which was frustrating. Um, but I thought this was important enough to be shared. This goes beyond, you know, Jeffrey being mean, this, that, and the other. This is people on his behalf stalking, harassing, threatening, trying to physically hurt somebody. Like, can we stop now? C can we stop with the act of, of whoever Jeffrey is or trying to be? And you know what? Maybe Jeffrey doesn't contone that behavior. Maybe he's not okay with it. I hope he makes a statement about that, but I'm not going to hold my breath. <laughs> 
Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, I'm wishing everybody lots of love. Be safe. Be careful who you surround yourself with. I've had to learn this lesson so many times. It is one of the reasons I'm so alone in this world, and that is okay. I'd rather have just the right, uh, just a small amount of the right people around me than a large amount of the wrong ones. So always remember that. All right, guys, till the next video. I'm wishing everybody love, blessings, and safety. Giving you guys lots of hugs mwah, and kisses. Bye, guys.